Hello everyone, welcome back to Tavarumono, Mask of Truth. Um, before we start with the main attraction though, I kind of want to talk about um, another visual novel game I've been playing a lot lately. Namely, you know. Uh, let's see, what is the entire title there? You know, a girl who chants love at the bounds of this world. Um, <laughs> that is um, something of a novelty in today's world. Um, it is supposedly, as far as I can tell, an old visual novel released for the Sega Saturn. Um, I don't know who the original developers were, but the version I have is the uh, PlayStation 4 version, um, ported by Spike Tunesoft. Uh, if this is anything about publisher, and uh, maybe they are the publisher in the uh, non-school games, the, the development, maybe. Uh, that is a possibility. Um, it's it's strange. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, first of all, um, I think the elephant in the room is that even though the game has been uh, seemingly censored, uh, I'm following a walkthrough and some things just uh, don't add up. It uh, the walkthrough mentions a lot of actions that um, the player is not allowed to take, um, and all things considered. I think those changes were for the better, but hey, that's my opinion. You wrote the wrong. Um, that is okay by me. Um, but I mean, I say that these games, Odor and Mono, get a little bit lewd in places, a little bit uh, the other kind of family friendly. Uh, in you know the main character actually has sex and not just with any older women even his stepmom um like yikes japan wtf <laughs> yeah uh, yeah that is definitely a game that has deserved its uh, 18 plus age rating. Um, the really weird thing about it though is um, you have to work quite a lot. <laughs> I mean the gameplay is I suppose really not good for a visual novel but uh, you do have to pick almost every step of the adventure and uh, for what it's worth I, I think it is really, really long. The text mass in uh, these games with Warrior Mono, I mean, across the three games, I think... Okay, well, maybe... Uh, you know, it takes a lot more time just getting to the different text prompts. But I think at least two Warrior Mono games could fit into, you know, that's, uh, I mean, not that I've been counting, but I'm, well, there have, there has been a lot of reading to do, and, uh, I am already only 50% done with the game, apparently, <clears throat> according to some counter somewhere. Hmm. Oh, and I'm already getting hoarse, I just, only just started, uh, recording, hmm. Well, anyway, um, you know, uh, uh, a girl, lovely, bloody, bloody, blah, runs through this world. Um, I can only recommend it as a curiosity item at this point. <laughs> I mean, the story is um, a bit strange. I really don't know what to make of, it, make of it at this point. There is an obvious protagonist, an obvious creep, but the stepmother in this game, she's... Just, what the fuck, Japan? She's the victim of absolutely everything. Has, she has no agency, no nothing, just... Just... Ugh. 
if you are bothered by, um, shall we say, old-fashioned internet rules, do not, under any circumstance, play you know. Um, if scenes of, well, let's be frank, bordering on actual rape <laughs> bothers you, that's also another reason to stay away from that game. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. It, it is an interesting experience by itself. I mean, the story is just bonkers. And there's a lot of time traveling and uh, you bring items from one timeline to the other and then you sort of advance that timeline in a more advantageous way and resolve things there and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's... It's like a dialogue puzzle from an adventure game except in a visual novel form. Um, well, anyway, let's just get on with the uh, main attraction, shall we? Uh, let's see if I get here. I can do not a whole lot to you, but I'll do it all the same. Ooh, big crit. Or something. 27 damage, ooh. Okay. This doesn't strike me as a very good idea. But it seems to have worked out quite well. I'm gonna do this. Get that um, action chain um, well, extended. Oh, hi. That was probably a really bad move. still live so there's that you can go and uh, do this thank you oh, sorry Let's look at your action chain here. Mm. Whatever, let's uh, go with uh, this for the area damage. You don't heal the boss? I don't mind. I just need some more tea. There we go. Mm hmm. Sounds good, even with the physical defense. Attack down too. Oh, 
Okay, I think you can attack on attack across two squares, right? Yeah. That could have been bad. Fortunately, it was not. Okay. So that's their healer down. There's only two of them now. No, I'll give him a little more targets to choose from. Or just smack him out right. That works too. there. Good. Hmm, wait, where should I do this? Now nah, that doesn't really do much. Oh wait, we could do Hakko. Hmm, yeah, sure. Sounds good. Level up. Hmm. Yeah, Koyanate just gets all the statuses right now. hoping for. Okay, uh, you can't quite do that, okay. Um, we seem to be pretty good otherwise. Hmm, maybe that one could do with it. Hmm, yeah, yeah, that cool, definitely. Oh, ah, not that one. Oh well. Yes. 
Oh, okay. We got that in the first game, or the previous game. button to continue. Got it. Save the game, and uh, this leads us where exactly? Yeah, we won the fight already. Oh, 
で兄上どうしたハクさんの姿が見えませんがそれにクオンさんもあ、oh, right. He doesn't know. Hmm, let's get attention to detail that he actually gets to ask the question. Yeah, not to mention all the healers we can get. <laughs> Best way of saying, I would disagree. Okay, well that might be something we can um, explore for a bit. That's pretty much how it worked in uh, Mask of uh, Deception, I think. Hmm. Well, I guess the feature was present in uh, Prelude to the Fallen as well. Okay, so you know what? I'll just go and do all that off camera. Uh, starting with BP allocation and uh, just sorting out the inventory. Um. Huh. All right. That. Uh, and notice how it requires a whole lot of uh, BP there. Uh, as I recall, when you start New Game Plus, you start with the uh, total amount of bonus points you acquired throughout the game unassigned. So you could use those bonus points to um, more easily extend your um, well equipment slots. Uh, anyway, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, so, yeah. As I said, I will be doing this off camera. Um, now, about uh, Kiru and his recognition back there, I think I, well, at least should have said it before, that uh, Kiru and Relutia both are going to have... Uh, sort of um, coming of age uh, story arcs here in this game and uh, I think uh, we are starting to see uh, Kiru's um, coming of age thing starting uh, well starting here um, <sighs> wow well, 
yeah, now that I started to talk about it, I realized I had absolutely nothing real to say about it. So, um, yeah, see you in the next episode. All bonus pointed up and um, equipped to bear. Until next time.